The Giant Mine Reclamation Project acknowledges that we are located in Chief Dragee's territory. From time immemorial, it has been the traditional land of the Yellow Knives Dene First Nation, and more recently, the homeland of the North Slave Métis Alliance. We respect the histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. The Giant Mine is an abandoned gold mine in Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. The mine operated from 1948 until 2004 and left behind an environmental legacy of contamination, including many tons of arsenic trioxide waste stored below ground. After the owner of the Giant Mine went into receivership, the Government of Canada took responsibility for the existing environmental liabilities on the property. The site includes an underground mine, eight open pits, 35 mine openings, four tailings ponds, and arsenic contamination in the soil around the mine as well as arsenic trioxide waste stored underground in purpose-built chambers. The Giant Mine Remediation Project will remediate and stabilize the mine site and address the long-term containment and management of arsenic trioxide waste. Understandably, there's a lot of concern in the community with regards to the storage of this waste in the underground mine. Some of the mined out areas, or stopes, have been backfilled with cemented mud to make the underground mine more stable. Other stopes contain the arsenic trioxide waste and will be frozen to stabilize them and stop contamination from escaping. The water at the bottom of the mine is called the mine pool. Water levels are affected by local weather and conditions on site because groundwater continually flows into the mine. During the remediation and adaptive management period, on average, the water levels will rise and fall approximately 10 to 20 meters annually. In some cases, the water may rise as much as 50 meters, but this only occurs occasionally over the 15 years. It is important to note that in all scenarios, critical infrastructure is never impacted by the rising water. Longer term, the remediation of open pits and tailing ponds means that there will be less water to manage in the underground mine. Water levels will still be controlled by local weather and conditions on site, but levels will rise and fall only approximately 10 meters annually.